All right, let's do this. Today, a lot of ducks. Good morning. So, bow and wave, moving up and down, staying stable on your legs. So, we got to do this right. We got to warm up really, really, really well. We're going to just start with. Front and back. So, boxing shuffle, heads are up. Front and back. You guys see me very well. You see how my feet going. So always that staggered stand position. Never feet in line, just going like this. Just front and back. Let's do this. Shuffle, learning how to shuffle is very, very important. Let's do this. Boom. Front and back. Front and back. Just like that. Yes. Stay with me, guys. You should be doing this already, okay? We are in the warm up. We're in the warm up section. You don't want to miss the warm up. Okay, so it's a shuffle front and back. Now we're going to shuffle forward, raise that knee, boom, shuffle back, boom, knee forward. And again, left leg, back, knee. Warming up the core. Remember, when you throw on that knee, it, it just, it's not a crunch. It comes from back forward. So you're putting your force behind. Boom. Like that. Yes, keep on going front and back. A little shuffle. Good. A few more times like this. Time. Now we're going to go sideways. Because we were going front and back. So to the right, your right leg will lead. To the left your left leg. But you see, my legs never come close together. They always in a staggered stance. So right leg leads to the right and left leads to the left, okay? But never crisscross them, never come close together. So it's still a boxing shuffle. So your left leg is forward, all right? Boom, like that. Just straight, just watch your feet for a little bit, okay? Because this is very important when you keep that, just that stance like this. Come on, Joseph, I want to see you. There you go, Joanna. A little bit feet apart. Good, Sandrina, good. Now, from our left, we're going to throw a jab. When you go to the right, cross. Jab, cross, go. Good, but remember what happens with the cross. Bam, pivot, right? Jab doesn't cross, but cross goes across the body. So jab, no pivot, boom, just straight up from your chin, cross, across the body, okay? Good, back to shuffle front and back. We're gonna go shuffle forward. Duck from right, left to right, shuffle back from right to left, okay? So forward, left to right, using your legs, back, right to left. Now remember, we're not here, we're not going this, the head is not pointing down, you're looking straight ahead, using your legs, shifting that weight. And this is quick. All right, because we got to warm up the legs. We're going to warm up your core. We have to warm up your lower body really well. So you're going to get that motion going. So you're not going to be stiff through the exercise. Okay? Back to shuffle sideways. Now we're going to go three on the left, shuffle right, four on the right. And again, left hook, shuffle to the right, right hook. So... I am on my left, left hook, elbow is bent, boom. I'm turning, I'm twisting. I want you to pay attention to this, boom. Turn, turn. Hooks are turning. Left hook, hook, and then right hook. Yes, 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 yes. Nice work, nice work. Remember, shadow box is waking up the body. We gotta wake up that body, you gotta get that energy going. Getting ready for the session, getting enthusiastic, funny, like feels good, right? 
That's how you get that blood flow going. Good, back to shuffle forward. Now we're gonna go left and right, shuffle back, right and left. So you have two goblin legs, okay, here. Forward, again, left, right, and back, right, left. You feel that shifting that weight, right? So my knees are bent, I'm shifting the weight from left to right, right to left. But make sure you're shuffling. Good job. Just like that. Good. And back to the side shuffle. We're going to go five on your left, six on your right. So all the applicants aiming for that chin, twisting, running. Go six. So left is five, right is six. Shuffle. Good job, good job. And again, squeeze, twist. Let's think about your ass here, okay? I have a very short shuffle, but you guys at home, if you have a good space, shuffle. Shuffle long. It's all good. I'm just staying with, with the camera so you guys can see me. Good job. In time, let's do a crawl out on our straight legs. We're gonna stretch the lower back. So loosen up your shoulders, loosen up your arms, keep that leg straight right here. You're gonna feel stretch in your hamstrings and your and your um, and your calves. You're gonna reach down, lift your hands towards the floor, crawl out all the way out to a head pin position. Now drop your hips slow here. Drop your hips. Stay in that position. Go down with me. Come up. Exhale. Feel those hips dropping here. Now, bring your toes into the ground, ball of your foot. Boom, lift yourself up to a high plank position. Crawl on your legs straight. And now stay here. We're gonna open up your right arm, down, left arm, follow with your head. And again, right arm all the way out, left arm all the way out, one more side right. Breathe out, and left. And let's crawl out again. Crawl out. now you know it. You're gonna drop those hips right here, down, down, down. You're staying on your on your hands here, on your whole entire arms. You're gonna drop low, take a deep breath in all the way down to the floor of the ground. Exhale, it's not a push-up. It's just trying to really stretch your hip flexors here. There you go, decompress that spine, the ball of your feet, boom, high plank position. Legs are wider than your shoulder width. Crawl, crawl, crawl. Now from here, look. breathe out, arms overhead. Reach towards the floor, arms wide, and then bring your arm across, bring your arm across. So I'm gonna stretch the back of your shoulders. And again, keep breath in, arms overhead. Then breathe out, bring your arms across, stretching the posterior side, and again, and again. Deep breath in, reach, overhead. Arms open wide, stretch your chest. Bring your arm across, and again, bring your arm across. Good, one more time like this. Really long you through the spine. Take a deep breath in so you can really open up the lungs. Stay like fresh, stretch, good. Good, and we're gonna start immediately with just a short round of one, four, one. We're gonna build upon this. You ready? One, four, one. So it's jab, hook, jab. All right, let's do this. Jab, hook, jab. So you gotta turn. You gotta turn on that hook, right? Boom, 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 and straight from straight from the chin. Now again, you don't have a bag. You're moving around. You're moving. You're pivoting. The pivot is stationary more on that left. Okay. This one just pivots. This one moves around. So you're moving around. Like boom, boom, boom. Here, maybe a little shuffle back, shuffle forward, okay? Non-stop, light on your feet. You have a bag, you're punching, all out, but you're still moving, okay? Sending your arms on that jab. You can have a light dumbbells. You can have two small bottles of water if you want in your hands. 
if you have just the shadow box here, that's fine. Breathe out with the punch. Try to connect them, okay? One, four, one. Connect them. Obviously, the kickbacks are wider, bigger. It's different than a just hanging bag. You have a smaller bag. It's going to be easier to rotate on that hook. But remember this first combo because we're going to build upon that combo, right? Good. And time, we adding duck four, three. So look, one, four, one. We're going to duck to your right. Four, three. Ready? Again. One, four, one right here. From left to right, four, three. This is going to be a longer combo. You attack and go. So now the ducks come in place. You got to shift that weight. Go under. No, go low with your legs. Think like you're squatting. It's that literally uneven squat here. So you want to go boom, and it's fast. Faster you go, more energy you're going to use. Better you're going to feel. You're going to accelerate that energy, right? Acceleration for three. You're going to move into that strong four and then powerful three. Nice work. Just remember, follow with your feet. Don't just go with your shoulders. The whole body is turning, right? One, four, one, duck, four, three. That's like explosive. And then after this, you have a moment like this. Wow, you exhale, you had a good punch. You got to get a moment, get loose, and you're going again, right? So it's one for one, duck, four, three. Bad, bad, bad. Link them together. There you go. Go for speed and strong duck to your right. Powerful four and powerful three. And resetting again, going back to the basic stance and attacking again. Good, good, good. A few more, a few more. We gotta remember this combo because we're gonna add on to it. The more we add, longer it's gonna be. Good, in time we add in three, four immediately. So we have one, four, one, duck, four, three, three, four. So it's a lot of turning, a lot of rotation here, okay? Go, go, go. Oh, Joanna, you're, 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 you have to mute yourself. <laughs> sorry, you, you are. I'm sorry. I'm it's sorry. okay. Good job. Thank you. It's good to hear that breathing out. I know that you're breathing. <laughs> Remember about that three four immediately after that four three. You're going into three four. One four one duck four three three four. Put more power, more power. So you're putting more energy into that punch. Longer combination right now, right? And put everything you got, especially if you don't have a bag, if you don't have a resistance there, you gotta go fast. You gotta blast that through. Squeeze your hands, squeeze your fists when you do the shadow boxing, okay? So you're gonna actually create the isometric contraction. You're gonna create that. Keep on going, guys, keep on going. Keep on going. Good job. Good job, everybody. I'm right here. I'm right here. I see you. I see you. Good job. Good job. Keep on punching away. Good, and we add in a left knee to this 
combination. Right after that, three quarters is finishing. You're gonna throw a left knee. So again, let's do this. One, four, one, we're going duck. Four, three, three, four, boom, left knee. Yes. Right away, right away. Go, you're adding left knee right now to this whole combo. I made it easy right now, not complicated, just that left knee into that combo, okay? So that powerful left knee, hold the back if you have to, boom, strong knee in the air. You're gonna again, power your core for that knee. One, four, one, duck left to right. Four, three, three, four, boom, left knee in the air. You're gonna finish here on that four. You can do a switch step for a powerful knee into the back, okay? Obviously with the switch step, you're gonna have more power in the knee than just being here, boom, just raising your leg, right? In the air, actually you can have more power because you don't have anything in front of you. It's just the air. So you can go out, all out here. Yes, yes, yes. Keep on going. Good, 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 good. And we are in a right front kick. Go on after that left knee. So show me one, four, one. Left to right, four, three, three, four. Left knee, boom, right kick front. So that would be it, the air, right? On the back, one, four, one. Back left to right, four, three, three, four. Switch step on the knee, step back, boom, right kick. Good job, good job. I'm holding that clock over here for you guys. Show me something good, show me intensity. Good, Joanna. I see you. Good dogs. Very nice. Good knee. Front kick. Awesome. Come on, Sandrina. Remember about pivoting. Let your body fly there, okay? Let it twist and pivot. Follow through and co have control over your arms. So you keeping a good fist. That's why even in the shadow box when you do that, when you have even those gloves like I have, they will send you signals that you actually punching. It's much better than just bare hands. Remember this. This is so different. Plus, they wear, wear a few ounces and it's always good to have something additional on your hands. So, Sandrina, next time, look for your gloves, okay? Full gloves or get those MMA gloves. It's good to have them. You can do so many things with them, especially if you don't have the bag. They're awesome for air. You can do a boot camp style with them. You can grab a dumbbell if you have to, right? Good, Joseph. Good, good. I packed that bag. And try not to stop the bag each time. I want you to shuffle away. Let that get that different angle of that bag. All right? And then I pack it again. That's going to be the challenge because you're going to be punching the bag. It's still going to be swinging there. Good, good, good. Right into the stance. Hands are up, hands are up. Good job. A little bit more. We're only at minute 40 here. Got to build up to at least three minutes right here. This is like a final finish of that combo, right? We're still going to add some other cardio things here. Go, 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 go. Another minute left. Another minute. Thirty seconds left. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. Keep on going. One, four, one. Duck. Four, three, three, four. Left knee. Front kick. Good and time. 
since I do not see you all on the page except all Joseph that does the planks. We're gonna hold the plank, low plank position, and we're gonna see how long you guys gonna go. Joseph, if anything, you're gonna have two planks a day if you haven't done yours. But Joanna, please set yourself up so I can see you. And Sandrine, I need to see you as well. And we're gonna hold a plank position. Joseph is well known to hold over five minutes, so uh, you're going to do the best as you can. Stretch your arms. Do not sit on your arms for a second, please. Uh, <clears throat> all right? You're going to hold as long as you can, all right? In, in low plank, regular plank position, your forearms, okay? Pinky down into the ground. Pinky down, thumb is up. Let's do this. In three, Joanna down. Two, one, and go. We holding, hips are in line with your shoulders. They're not raised. Keep your shoulders in line with your elbows. Hands should be separated, please. Hands separated. Separated like this. There is no such a thing as arms going this way. That way, guys, that way. Always like this. Elbow in line with your shoulders. Pinky down. Thumb is up. Holding stiff as a board. Keep on going. We do not give up. We're going to hold as much as we can. It's We are just so early into the workout. We're not tired. Okay? Sandrina, please separate your hands. Se separate them. They cannot be together. There you go. Like this. That's the platform that you want to have. Yes. Yes. Good job. Good job. Now, each time you start failing, I want you to pull your belly button into the spine, squeeze your quads, fix your position of the ball of your feet. Squeeze those shoulders a little bit. They're gonna give you more support. Jenna, you gave up. You had a minute eight. You down, minute 17. All right, time, listen up. Get up, get up. I did this purposely to show you that even if it's so hard for you and you don't feel good with that, maybe posting out there, it's still participation, it's still testing yourself, okay? That's the whole point. We cannot avoid things that are hard for us. You, got, you guys are on your back, on the floor. We're gonna start with just holding the hip bridge position right here. Arms are up, just like that. Look, knees are in line with your heels, arms are up. You're gonna concentrate on your hamstrings. And whoever was doing that test right now at home, what you would do, you would hold, obviously you would have that timer in front of you and measure your time. Measure your time here. Because there is a lot of people that do not participate and we should have everybody participating. There you go, hips are up, squeeze those hamstrings, squeeze the glutes, squeeze your abs. It's like a challenge against really versus yourself. It's all about you right now because you you maybe set a goal, set a goal to beat a certain time. And believe it or not, sometimes it's just gonna happen. You're gonna be surprised that you set yourself such a high goal and you did everything possibly what you could to achieve that goal. And it's amazing that you actually can do it. Because something triggers your brain and connects to the body that you can do it, all right? So we gotta do it. Even if it's halfway through the challenge, well, we have what, day eight or nine today, don't worry, you can start from here and keep on going. And I guarantee you that your abs will build a little bit better, stronger, you're gonna feel that core a little tighter in the 21 days. Time, flip over. You are doing air mountain climbers, and air mountain climbers are here. You are running in place, run in place, okay? Raise those legs up, those knees up. You do not rest them on the floor. So running, like we running in place, it's the same as holding a high plank position. It's the same thing. Absolutely the same thing here. You're pumping, you're pumping your legs, you're pumping your legs. Keep on going. And 
flip over back into your bridge position. Arms are up. Hold it. Hold it up. Hold it up. Hold it up. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze your hamstrings. Good. And flip over one more time. Those arrows and planters for me. Dig in. Dig in. Take those abs. Keep those hands in line with your shoulders underneath. Directly underneath the shoulders, okay? We're not going too wide. We just follow exactly the nature. Where your arms, where your shoulders are, the hands will go directly. Not high, not too far back, not too wide, just right there. Pump it, pump it, pump it, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. Hips are lower a little bit, Joseph. Back is straight. And time, shake it. If you need to sip your water, you sip your water. If you're ready, you are ready and starting with me. We're going two, five, two. So look, cross, left upper, cross, right? I got so warm just by showing you exercises. Amazing how it works, right? When we cold, we gotta just move. Two, five, two. And light on your feet. Again, boom, boom, boom. Twist, twist, twist on that upper cup. Go, 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 guys. All of you are frozen on me. Are we there? Oh, I see you on the phone, on the screen you froze. Okay. I'm gonna switch my screen here so I can see you. Nice work. There you go, Joseph, good, two, five, two. And the same idea, we're gonna build it upon that basic short combo. Build into amazing long one. Good, and we adding on. So after two, five, two, right after that two, you're gonna duck from right to left, three, six. So you're going right into a left hook, right upper, okay? Good, good, good. Work, good work. Two, five, two. From left, from right to left, three, six. Again, two, five, two. Right to left, three, six. You have a bag, you're punching the bag like Joseph is doing. You will see him right there. Joanna is body weight, very nice. Good, good, Sandrina. Pushing, pushing all the way through, right? Going all up, nice work. Nice work, guys. You're putting an effort in those punches. Paying attention to how your body acts, how your body behaves, how you're doing those twists and turns, how you pivot. Nice work, keep on remembering this one because we gotta build up on this one again. Yes, yes, yes. Good job, good work. And again, two, five, two. Right to left, three, six. Light on your feet, moving around. Two, five, two, I'm repeating. Right to left, three, six. That left hook, boom, then right upper. So it's cross, left upper, cross. That from right to left, left hook and right upper. Good, and we adding exact 
exactly six, three, like we did with the other one, right? So after three, six, you're adding six, three. Go, go, go. Again, we have two, five, two. That from right to left, three, six, six, three. Good, 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 good job. I see you guys. Good work, good work. Pivot, turn, go low on those ducks. Keep your knees soft, soft. Light on your feet, on the ball of your feet. So don't, don't, don't really stay flat footed. Light, light, light. This heel should never be touching the ground, right? Good, good. Come on, Sandrina. Good, Johanna. Joseph, awesome, awesome job. And for those of you who are replaying later, you are doing awesome. Again, two, five, two, right to left, left, right, right, left. And we're gonna do a switch step after this. Look, we're gonna do a switch step. Boom, left kick, and back to the stand. So you just adding a left kick. Let's do it. Two, five, two. Right to left, left upper, right upper, right upper, left upper. Switch step, left kick. On the back, you of course gonna do the switch step as well because you're gonna finish with the six, three, switch step. Boom, left kick, front kick. That's it. Not a roundhouse, front kick. Remember about those kicks, what you do. You lean slightly back and you really engage in your abs. That left side, so strong, you're squeezing. Tightening it up. Yes, 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 good work. Hands are up, do not drop your hands. Keep practicing, keep practicing, good. And squeeze as hard as you can on those kicks. Really, that air kick right there, you're gonna feel it. Powerful crunches in the air. Again, I'm repeating two, five, two, right to left, left hook, right upper, right upper, left hook, switch step, front kick, and back to the stance, right? And you're shuffling, you're moving around. Now we're adding one more piece after that left kick, guys. So left kick right into that right knee. So in the air, you're gonna have boom, right knee forward, right from here, you're gonna go boom, Hold that back, powerful knee. And I see this, Joseph has a back, so he's gonna be doing, you girls are doing in the air, right? In the air, all out. So we build up upon the long combo, two, five, two. Back, right to left, left hook, right upper, right upper, left hook, switch step, front kick, and knee right there. Let's do it again. Yes, yes, you're blessing through this because this is like a full combo right now that you've learned. Good, good, good. Again, 
again, we have at, at least a minute, minute 30 left. Long combo all the way. Good, again, two, 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 five, two, back from left to right. Six, three, three, six, switch step, left kick, and right knee, all out. Yes, shuffling, shuffling. Good job, good job, good job. Good centering and good. Keep on going, keep on kicking, keep, keep good knees. And time, you're starting back on your back like we did that before. We're not gonna, I'm not gonna be doing a plank again right now because now you know your numbers. Good. Well, except Joseph, he wouldn't count. He needs to go today, another one, right? We're gonna bring arms up. You're gonna do one leg at a time, meet up. So keeping your hips up, arms are up here, okay? Meet up, one leg at a time. I want those hips, those glutes, everything engaged the core, all this section, back. Look at the ceiling. Don't bring your chin towards the chest. And when you lift that leg, when you lower it down slow, this is not just a knee tuck, bam, and you hear the ground pounding. You squeezing your hands and your glutes. You lifting that leg all the way up towards your hands, and you slowly releasing it, okay? Slowly, with control motion. And realizing how your hips and glutes tighten up when the other leg is off the floor, right? Because that leg has to hold all that position. So much work here, so much work. So that's why we're going slow. Yes, we are going slow. Good, and flip over. Now we're gonna do a regular mountain climbers. So now you see a difference, right? That air mountain climbers was just pounding in the air. Regular mountain climbers, the ball of your foot has to hit the ground as the other leg extends and hit the ground as well. But the hips are low, boom, 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 boom. You stay low with those hips, don't raise them up. And you're going fast, jumping with your feet, non-stop. But during that jump, and, you got, and as you're going to be doing it, I want you to really fully pay attention to your core. Abs are engaged. Like, really squeeze them. See what a difference it makes when you jump it. Okay? So jump, jump, jump. And each time you jump, you squeeze a little harder. You squeeze a little bit more. You jump a little bit later, though. Okay? Not pounding. Not going like a thunderfoot here. Light, light, but fast, okay? Go keep on jumping. Keep on jumping. A few more times. Squeeze it, squeeze it. Uncomfortable, yes. And time, bring it back on your back again. One more time, we're gonna repeat those two, right? We're gonna repeat those two. Hands are up, glutes are tight. Everything is first in place before we're gonna lift that leg up. Breathe out, strong. Don't drop your hips as you're raising those knees. Don't drop them. You gotta keep them really high. So squeeze it for me, all the way up. And slowly, remember, slowly. You should not hear yourself here. You shouldn't feel it. Bam, lift and slowly release it. Then count to three or four, even five, go slower than normal. And see how the other glutes and hamstrings, your core, your hip area engages, right?
and flip it over one more time on these regular mountain climbers. So remember, set yourself up. If you could hear and start, but a lot of times I will tell my clients to also bring that leg forward. That's how you start. It's almost like in the starting blocks when you do a sprint, right? So boom, 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 boom. I went through all these different exercises in our lack of athletic sessions as I was practicing at my university. So we went through all these different sports years ago. Yes, we have these starting blocks. I wonder if you guys ever put them on and put your feet on them. They're pretty cool. And the acceleration is awesome. Boom, you're flying off through them. And you have to actually learn that moment when you put your feet into it. Sometimes you just stay in there. And that's how you start with that mountain climber. Pay attention, like really go in there, like, like you're ready to push all out from that starting block, right? Blasting through. And time. Shake it. Sip your water if you have to. Shut your shoulders for a second. And we're going to start a new combo that you got to build upon. And the combo is five, four, five. Let's do this. Five, four, five. Again, left upper, right hook, left upper. Let's do it. Five, four, five. Go, go. Five, four, five. Five, four, five. Five, four, five. Again, again. So sometimes you start from the upper. Now we're starting from the lower, right? Your first punch is that left uppercut. Paying attention to that powerful. Powerful left upper and follows with that right hook and left upper. Five, four, five. And again, you're shuffling, you're moving on the back. You are right here. And again, but you still have to have a moment to reset, right? Five, four, five, again, again. Powerful hook, turn. Good, we're gonna add the duck to your right and to one, but here is the thing. When you do five, four, five, you're gonna be here, right? You gotta duck lower to throw an overhead two, and then one. So that two, it's not just regular cross. It comes a little bit up and over, okay? So again, five, four, five, from left to right, you're winding up, throwing that powerful cross, and then jab, okay? So two up, right up, and go. Again, remember, that happens here, and on the way up, boom, powerful two, over, head, right. So it's not regular, just cross. You're coming from under, bam, bam. Okay, almost like pushing yourself away with that jab. Good job, good job. Nice work. Yes, 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 remember that combo. More practice, more repetition. Your body will just put that attention to this one right now, right? We're going through a lot of different combos. So right now you're here. Five, four, five, back, two, one. Good job. And as you know, after this one, we're always adding the same one, right? So I'm going to add two one right after. So again, five, four, five, duck, overhead, two, one, one, two. But now that two that we add on is going to 
going to be different than the other one because it comes from jab to cross. So this one is a little lower. It doesn't come over. It's just bam, bam. Like a finisher. Right? And the last two are power. Powerful punches. Till the next movement comes and the other one becomes the power of the finisher. But right now you have that one, two that finishes all the combo. Again, five, four, five, duck, overhead, two, one, one, two, okay? Let that body swing, let that body throw itself with that two. Remember, it's a jab, no pivot. Two is pivot as the jab returns towards the head. Right there, face. And stays there. Because the goal is not to drop your hands. The hands should be always up, right? The elbow should be tucked in. They shouldn't be wide. They should be right here. So a few more, a few more. See, good Joanna. Good, good. You're shuffling. Moving around, good job. So attack that bag. That's the whole idea. Long combo, exhaustion. You want to feel out of breath. You want to feel so uncomfortable that you almost like, oh, I got to catch a breath. I got to do a little shuffle. That's how the punches should feel. So when you punch them, you're like, wow, let me go again. It's difficult, but I'm going to go through this. I'm going to go again. Good, so after that one, two, we're gonna do a hold the bag, switch step, left knee, switch step, right knee, we're adding two right now. So in the air, after one, two, Joanna, you can do a switch step, left knee, switch step, right knee, okay? Go, go, go. Again, starting from the top. Five, four, five, duck. Overhead two, one. One, two, switch step knee, knee, right? Yeah, five, four, five, duck, overhead, two, one, one, two, hold the back knee, hold the back knee. And when you have those knees, dig them in so hard, you're gonna feel like thousands of crunches you perform today. Good job, good job. Yeah, so this is it for that combo. You gotta blast it through, you gotta go all out. Yes, move around, pivot, hands are up. Good ducks, pay attention to those ducks because as you get tired, Sometimes the technique is not there. You want to make sure that your upper body stays upright, that you're not going down and over, okay? Use your legs here. Only legs. Your body will follow. Good, good, good. A few more times. A few more. A few more. And time right here on the floor, on the floor. We're gonna start with our bridge. Hands are up. But the only thing we're gonna do right now is right knee tuck. That's it, what you're gonna work on, okay? Just that right knee tuck. When you perform 20 of the right, you're gonna flip over. And you're gonna stay in a high position 
and wait for me there. Okay, deal? Let's do this. You're counting on your own right now. I want 20 on just your right leg. That's it. That's slow, control. Digging in, squeezing that glute. Feeling how it works, feeling uncomfortable, okay? Keeping your knees in line with your ankles. That's very important. The feet should not be far up. That, that leg, that heel digs into the ground. So you can easily lift those toes, small toes off the floor, more engagement in your hamstrings, okay? So keep that, that level right there. Your hips up, your glutes are up, chin away from your chest, arms just up and in, above your arm, above your shoulders, right there above your chest, raised arms, and you're doing 20, exactly 20 reps on your right. Once you flip over, you're gonna stay in a high plank position. And we're gonna start with hot scotch. So I'm gonna show you right here. So feet will be wide. Single, up, single, jump out, single end, jump out, single end. Okay. So hot scotch it is. You are jumping. So both single. Both single, you're jumping on above your feet. Now you can't do that, you're just gonna do a regular jazz. Like we would be doing, just jumping. If you can't do this one, you're gonna step out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. Or maybe you wanna jump out and then step in. Jump out, step in, right? Or maybe step out. But jumping. And time, flip over onto your other side. Again, on your back. Now you know what's coming. Your left leg is coming. Your left leg, your left knee will be raised up. Only left. And you're going to do 20 for me right here. Squeezing, empowering that left side, that left knee all the way up. Remember, your arms are straight out above your chest. Just staying there. You're not helping yourself with those arms. They just up and off the floor. And you see how much balance you have to hold. Just by doing that little switch from your hands to the floor to raising them up, it's a totally different exercise. It requires so much balance. Of course, when you finish your 20, you gotta flip over and do your hop scotch again, right? Again, the hop scotch. Boom, boom, out and in. All your options that I showed you before, if you can jump because of your knees, your hips, maybe because it's just starting. You can do variation, you can do slower, but you are going, you're picking one, you're going through. And the best way is to start, just start the, the hardest one. What the worst can happen? The worst can happen is that you did it. <laughs> That's what can happen. So don't under underestimate yourself. You gotta go for the hardest one. Good job. And up, up on your feet. Shake it. Shake it. We're starting with three, four, three. So look, only hooks in the house right now. Boom, boom, boom. Go. Three, four, three, three, four, three. You found a lot around. You gotta make it a good one. Three, four, three. Make it a good one. Make it a good one. Yes, yes, yes. Three, four, three. So it's a perfect setup from left to right. It's such a good, good combo, really, because you're pivoting left, pivoting right, pivoting left. Good, and we adding duck. 
So look, three, four, three. From back from left to right, six, five. Working with two uppers again. Three, four, three. Back from from left to right, six, five. Go, go, go. Three, four, three. Duck. Six, five. Turn, turn, pivot, pivot. Good job, Johanna. Good job, Joseph. I see you guys. Awesome. Nice power. Because those are final minutes, so don't lose your energy. Really, you got you to gotta get that energy going. You got to get that energy going. Your legs should be tired from these ducks. But not your lower back. Your lower back should not be feeling uncomfortable at this point, okay? Again, three, four, three. Duck from left to right. Six. Five, you know what's coming, right? We are in five, six right now. So after six, five, five, six, let's do this. Yes, 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 that five, six. Good job, good job. John, again, again, we're almost at the end at that five six to that combo. And we ending right off the left five six. Two right knees, switch step, two left knees, guys, this is it. So after five, six, if you don't have a bag, boom, two right knees, switch step, two left knees, and back to the beginning, right? Let's do it. Three, four, three, now we have a long combo. Three, four, three, duck, six, five, five, six, Two knees, switch that two knees again, again, right there. Think about the abs on those knees. Awesome crunches. Yes, yes, yes. No more, Joseph. This is it. Your final. Joanna, your final. You guys, whoever is with us later on, this is your final. You got to get your all, your best right here. Okay? Remember, you got to pivot on those hooks. You got to dig those on those uppers. You really go, got to get low. Don't be afraid of bending your knees and going under. I want to see 30 seconds. This is it. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. All out. This is your final combo. That's it. Jenna, go. Push it through. Joseph, you too. Go so uncomfortable. Go so fast that you're going to be hopping and popping. And from on a scale of 1 to 10, you won't be able to say a word. Let's do it. 20 seconds left. Going all out. As fast as you can, you're letting shuffle, you're letting those twists and turns. You're feeling like you're punching a real back for those of you who are not having a bag at home. 10 seconds. Five, four, till the end, till the row. Three, two, and one, and Time, 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 time. Awesome.
Awesome job. Awesome job. Good job. Take a deep breath in. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through your lips. I want you to, if you have it at home, a step, stretch those hamstrings today after your session on the step. So on a step, something elevated, you're gonna face forward towards that step and you're gonna reach forward and stretch your hamstrings. After stretching your hamstrings, holding 30 seconds, just like this, you're gonna rotate and face me and you're gonna bring your hands behind and you're gonna do a few times, stretch towards that leg. So we're gonna stretch the inner thighs, but as you see, my right leg is forward, my left leg is this way. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the other leg, okay? So stretch your and stretch your hands to this way, stretching your quads because these legs worked. We're gonna stretch the quads on the floor today. Stay sideways, bring that heel into the glute. Bottom leg is slightly bent. Now, not only are you stretching the but you're also stretching the front of your shoulder, right? So just hold it in and see how different that is from just stretching standing, right? And switch your sides. Bottom leg is bent, heel into the glute, push your hips forward, feel that stretch in the front of your shoulder. Very nice stretch, good stretch. And come on, awesome job. All right, how are we feeling? Amazing. Great. And this is to everybody. I mean, I talk to you guys right now, but there's so many people that replay those sessions and they should ask, answer the same question. How is that feeling? Are we feeling accomplished, right? Did, did we feel pushed? That's what it's all about. Now, I know that Joseph is doing it, but Johanna, do I have your commitment to put every day your plank on? All right. I'll start it tonight. Awesome. Please. I'll start tonight. Please. It does not matter. I know that some people go two, three minutes. Joseph is like, he's just burning us all. <laughs> we see the smoke after his plank. I do but, see him, yes. <laughs> but this is, but this is, this is like he's he's be like he's setting up goal for himself, and he probably never thought that he could even hold that plank that long because in a session we don't hold planks for six minutes, right? We couldn't hold the plank for six minutes because all the people that could not do it, they were like, well, what the hell, right? I'm not gonna be holding that plank. So here, these challenges are for us to kind of. Go out of the comfort zone. So let's do this. And it does not matter if you're just joining now. It's okay. Don't think about it. Just do it. All right. I'll start tonight. Right. And oh. involve your, you know, involve your family if they want to. Let them try. Let them right. try. Because it also builds awareness, guys, in our family members and our people around us that maybe they're the condition. Maybe this is time for them to start really pay, paying a little attention to the way what they do, or maybe they need exercise in their life. That's another thing, like, you know, extend what you've been doing on others, and that's what it's all about, right? right. And, and please, please share the link of a free week, 21 days. Maybe you have someone overseas. Maybe you have a family in Europe send them the link because look this works on anyone as long as i have people here from poland they they speak english a little bit very broken very little but they will see the session and they can they are able to actually follow through because right. that's better than not doing anything because they're scared of going into the gym, right? Because it's so dangerous and Poland is really severely sick right now. So everything is in the red zone. It's, uh, it's almost 12,000 people sick over there and it's a small country. So think about it, like anywhere in the world, you can send a link to someone and they can just log in. If they don't want to do in live sessions, they can replay them. And they're going to get a one-on-one -on -one consult that change your oh. life, right? This one-on-one -on -one console change your life, right? Yep. Exactly. So let's let's help because we gotta rebuild this community. We gotta like go stronger more than ever. And we need you guys, we need you. And I have to be honest, we need to be all on the same page with us. So 
Thank you again. This was awesome. I'm glad you had an awesome workout. I'm going to go and do my planks too today before oh. the fires will, will get us because the fires are all around us here. Oh, it's no. Crazy. How far from your house? The fire? Well, it's, a half, it's a half a mile. Oh, they, no. they, they go and you can see them traveling, but the wind is pushing them on the side. So we are good. But a lot of people have been evacuated from here. Yeah. All right, Eva. Stay but safe. We are good. We are safe. Look, I'm teaching the session. The particles are flying, right? <laughs> I see the smoke. But who cares? We got to just do it. All right. All right. Have an awesome Thank day. You. Have an awesome day. Have a great day. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.